got a chance to match your words. Igga bigga, igga digga, igga bigga stew. Igga bigga, igga digga, igga bigga stew. We now present today's charming speaker, Miss Bettina Blabber. Oh, thank you. My lecture today shall pertain to the cult of voodooism. <laughs> Telegram for Mrs. Bettina Blabber. Quiet, young man. I'm on the air. <laughs> uh, voodoo is still practiced in the more primitive regions. Ah, phooey. In fact, certain alligators have been known to practice this witchcraft to obtain food. Hogwash. One guy, sister. Voodoo, schmoodoo. Voodoo is a big fake. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll stick him with a little black magic. Ouch! What was that? Now, as I was saying, voodoo is for the birds. Oh, this is most embarrassing. Now I'll give him my triple whammy. And now, my little Doubting Thomas, cocktail for two. <laughs> Laugh at old Gabby, will you? <laughs> now I'm getting hungry for a woodpecker stew. Come to me, my little pigeon. Now, as I was saying... Coming, master. <laughs> oh, boy, that woodpecker's gonna taste good. Delicious. Who do brew, toil and trouble. Kettle start to boil and bubble. <laughs> Well, let's not overdo it. Coming. Coming, master. Coming, master. Yo, oh boy, here he comes. I better put another jolt in him. <laughs> boy, my favorite dish, planked woodpecker. Step right in. <laughs> And now 
Now, in conclusion, I say, don't make a voodoo, boo-boo. <laughs> I made a funny. Ah, dry up. <laughs> Like I said, voodoo is for the birds. Timberland Mountains, the tallest living thing on earth, surrenders to the call of the mighty lumberjack. Timber! Lumberjacking is a very strenuous job that taxes every muscle of the body and can sometimes be a mental strain as well, causing forest fatigue spots before the eyes and the wibbly wobbles. When this happens, the unstrung tree chopper must pack his gear and hit out for a quiet place to rest. Smedley's rest home, two miles. Oh boy! When I get to the rest home, I take hot bath to fix up the nervous breakdown. Dum de dum dum dum. dum, dum. Uh oh, a customer coming in. <laughs> I want a nice, quiet room with no noise. Yes, sir. I got to have plenty of rest, because I am just a bundle of seed nerves. <laughs> now bring the bags, and we go upstairs to the room. Here you are, sir. Nice, soft bed, private bath, and a refrigerator full of goodies. Have a nice, quiet rest, sir. A little peace and quiet will fix him up just fine. milk, I turn around, it's gone. What? I better go to bed now. I need the rest. I hope he's not too mad. I'll get you some food to quiet your nerves. Huh? Oh no, it can't be. It is. Oh boy. Oh, my 
make a fire and thaw you out. There we are. Oh, gosh. In about another half hour, he'll be coming back down. I better get out of here. I guess he's real man. Save my life, Chili. What'll you have for a reward? Oh, a glass of milk. Milk? Yes, glass of milk. Hmm. <laughs> you like milk? Yes, I like. Wait here, Chili. I'll get a glass of milk. <laughs> picture in the high school paper. Listen to this. Charles Berry Jr. has been elected cheerleader and Susie Berry will be new majorette in high school band. Isn't that just fine, Charlie? Yes, dear. I guess. Someday I'm gonna... Daddy, you want to watch me twirl my baton? All right, sweetheart. Control your temper. Ooh, we stick Ra, ra, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a rat trap. Yay, same. I'll just play that back. Ra, ra, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a rat trap. Yeah. that thing. Rah, rah, rackety zoom. Hit that line, lower the boom. Turn the crank, pull the lever. Union High goes on forever. Ah, 
Stop! Rackety rack a rack a rack. Stop! Stop! Charlie, stop that yelling. You're disturbing the whole neighborhood. Me? I wasn't. It, it, it. Don't try to blame it on Junior. I saw you. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Junior, get me out of here. Coming, Tom. <laughs> Now look what you did. Pull this thing off of me. Junior, you better do something. Be right back, Pop. Dig this crazy hi-fi. Now get me out of here. Doing to Junior. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you learn to control? Your temper. But, but, I, 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 uh. Oh, boy. I'm gonna get some peace and quiet around here. You blue blood, no, get. Susie, get rid of that thing. Bring me my 
my tea. You hear? Bring me my tea. Coming, Master Scrooge. When I want something, I want it fast. The pay is served, sir. Stop that infernal chatter and put the sugar in. Yes, sir. One donkey, two donkey. One dunk is enough, you numbskull. You think money grows on trees? I have a feeling dear old Uncle Scrooge will welcome me with open arms. Ah, there's Uncle Scrooge's house. He has a path leading right to his door. How oh, nice. Down, boys, down. And let that be a lesson to you. I hear bells, sir. Yeah. I'm Scrooge's nephew. Step aside. Oh, Unky, I'm here. It's me, your little nephew, Woody. Good news, Unky. I'm moving in with you. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. 
Florida, known for its many sites of historical importance, such as the famous Cape Canaveral and Okie Dokie Swamp. Here lives the hungriest denizen of the Everglades, Gabby Gator. Man, I'm starving. This is a chef of bologna. I'm going to show you how to prepare a one fine fowl meal. First, you pick one fine plump chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you add a plenty of chef bologna sauce. Don't that look yummy? <laughs> I can't stand no more of that. This is David Fussykind presenting Closed Ends. We have with us that famous Hollywood star of stage, screen, and television, Woody Woodpecker. Woody has volunteered to be the first woodpecker shot into outer space. Man, he'd make a fine woodpecker stew. In one hour, Woody will be at Cape Canaveral. Oh, he will, will he? This old water tower will make a dandy space rocket. What happened? 
Where am I? Fellas, after ice, I win. No penguins allowed on the premises, son. Run along, boy. Adios. Adios means goodbye in French. <laughs> I'm a hunter, and I want a room. Yes, sir. And I don't want to be bothered. Yes, sir. And if I am, I'll blast you like this. <laughs> you understand? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that boy has a temper. <laughs> Had bellboy smadly speaking. Send up my baggage right away. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. That's you know who. Tasmanian devil. That's the worst kind. Smadly speaking. I told you to bring up my baggage. Yes, sir. You numbskull! Your baggage, sir. Don't stand there. Unpack them, hang up my clothes, polish my boots, and get my dinner and be quick about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Out you go, boy. Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of it. 
Cook, boy. Now you're gonna get whoops. Come back here, boy. I've got you surrounded. Smartly speaking. Lunch, or I'll break every bone in your hide. Yes, sir. Lunch coming right up, sir. <laughs> Here it is, sir. Your lunch.
To leave the snow and blizzard, go out west among the lizards, sleep with coyotes out beneath the prairie sky. Do a lot of quick drop practice, and in golden eating cactus, we all west is where I want to live and die. Oh boy, I'm pooped. Pardon me, please. Is this the West? Who? You, that's who. Is this the West? Who? Can't you answer a simple question? Who? Okay, wise guy. You asked for it. 
dear. I was experimenting with... Uh, oh. <laughs> Come, I show you other experiments what I do. I cross things. I cross a pine meter apple and I get a pineapple. Then I cross a double-decker bat with a duck egg and I get a double-decker duck. And then I cross the street with a chicken and I get a bunion. Oh, but now I am ready for my greatest crossing. I am going to cross this ape with something. Don't do that. But what should I cross this ape with? <laughs> I don't know yet. I say, don't do that. You, you smart alecky. <laughs> Now, who can that be? Nobody in their right mind comes here. A woodpecker! That gives me an idea. I will cross the woodpecker's brain with the ape's brain, and then I will make a flying ape. Will be my greatest achievement. Hello, dear. Would you like to subscribe to a magazine so I can go to camp? To camp, you want? This is the place. <laughs> camping, we will go. A camping, we will go. Halt. We camp here. In the morning, we go on a hike. Now, everybody to bed. Come, come, come. Rockabye woodpecker don't try to escape. When comes the morning, you look like an ape. Look like an ape? Rockabye ape, you don't whisper a word. When up comes the sun, you'll fly like a boy. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, everybody go to sleep. I'll sleep here. Now, good night. <sighs> Don't try to escape. When you wake up, you look like an ape. Hello, dear. Is this a professor? Yeah, this is a professor speaking. Hello there. 
Virginia. Well, we sure made a monkey out of the professor. <laughs> dedicated to the unsung heroes that operate the weather stations in the deep, cold, polar regions of the Antarctic. Buried under snow and ice is the nerve center of the camp's headquarters. Stuart the captain, our food supply is running low. Repeat, our food supply is running low. Smedley! What kept you? I came soon as I could, sir. Well, fly over to Camp Crumpet and pick up a load of supplies. On the double! Yes, sir. <laughs> the captain ready for takeoff okay and hurry back with those supplies roger <laughs> holy mackerel somebody's been making holes in the runway i better tell the captain Madly to Captain, there's a penguin making holes in the runway, and he's a fishing through the eyes. Well, get rid of him, you nitwit. And if you don't, I'll, I'll <laughs> you to pieces. Gosh, he sure is the emotional type. <laughs> now, look at here, son. This here is government property, understand? And no fishing around here. Now, go on, beat it. Sayonara. Catch one more fish? No more fish. Little bitty minnow? No little bitty minnow. <laughs> those holes in the runway, and then fly out and get those supplies. Aye, aye, sir. You pesky little critter. Get me out of here. your fault. Now the captain's real mad. Oh, too bad. You mad? You bet I'm mad. Me 
I'm not mad. I guess the only way to get something done is to do it yourself. Smedley! Come and Captain, sir. You stay here. I will get the supplies. Wind her up. Uh, yes, sir. Contact. Contact. <laughs> Contact, sir. Contact. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, I'll get it, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you all right, Captain? What's the matter? Charlie, there's a mouse in the house. That's right. Send someone right away. How much will it cost? $25? All right. What costs $25? The exterminators. To get rid of that mouse. Forget it. I'll catch that mouse and save $25. What's pop up to now, Mom? Here we go again. $25 to get your mouse. Yeah, little mousey, come get your dinner. I got him. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, brother. No! No! I got him. Hey, Junior, bring the hammer. I got him. What'll I do, Pop? When I open my hand, you hit him. One, two, three. <laughs> Charlie, get down from that ceiling. Huh? Oh.
that mouse out of there. doing in the vacuum. I don't know what I'm doing in here. Just get me out. Oh, well, I, uh, I, uh, gee whiz. This time I'll blast him out. Wanted exterminated. That rat. Nothing but trees. So go someplace. 
another cartoon. <laughs> the Everglades. Hidden in its deep jungle of plant life lurks the deadly and savage alligator, ever in search for food. Uh-oh, here comes my dinner. I wonder what's on the menu. Yummy, yummy. A big, fat, luscious, Hey, turn on the light. Who's the white guy? Welcome, Woodpecker. Welcome to Gabby Gator's Health Resort. Health Resort? Ugh. You're a sick, sick bird. I, I am? Man, you are sick, 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 sick. You are sick. <gasps> what you need is a mineral bath. You know something? I feel better already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the mineral bath, chum. Top top. Hold it, Buster. You still got that sickly look. Here, lie in the sun, son. I'll put some color in your cheeks. He's a nice alligator. Wear these sunglasses and relax. Now, if you drop the sun lotion, a little tannin oil. Something cooking? You see 
see a silly looking woodpecker go by? Woodpecker, he got big beak like this. That's right. He got funny hairdo. Like this? Uh, like this. That's right, that's right. He go in wiggy wummy. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Woodpecker, you're washed up. Hey, well, what happened? Let me out of here. No, no, help, help. Come and get him. Come get him. Hey, Ooh. help. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Get out of here. <laughs> is the Arctic, bitter, bleak, freezing cold. Here ships are locked in the ice for months. Then food runs out, and strong, silent men hear pangs of hunger. Down, boy, down. Down, I say, down, down, down. The supply is only two days late, but up here, a day is six months long. The supply plane! Food! Food! Hey! Wait! 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 Drop it here! No, no! Over here! Son, what's on your mind? Uh, what are you looking at, boy? I say, what are you looking at? Somebody around here? I don't see nothing. 
nobody here but us. I got a sneaking hunch that little fella thinks I'm food. I'll have to set him straight. Now simmer down, boy. Penguins don't eat dogs, and I am a dog. Woof woof, see? <laughs> I think I got to him. I sort of think that boy's trying to cook me. I better do something quick. I'll send an SOS for more food. SOS, SOS, send pork chops, chicken, spare ribs, and waffles. <laughs> it smells like waffles. It is waffles. Yummy, yummy. Received waffles, thank you. Boy, that was quick service. <laughs> this colossal crime is that notorious master of mystery, Inspector Willoughby. That's me, folks. You sent for me, Roger? You said it, kid. Find my royal elephant, and I will pay you 60,000 rupees. I read you loud and clear. Roger and out. No one can hide an elephant from the great Willoughby. <laughs> My elephant now. You will obey me. Hello? Do you have a stolen elephant in there? <laughs> Open in the name of... Quiet, you big blubber mouth. I've got to hide him quick. Come on, get in that trunk and be... Quiet. Open up 
in there, you... Are there. You are under arrest. The old Indian rope trick. Now, how did he do that? If there is an elephant around here, I will find it. I will give the royal elephant mating call. Uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Uh, I have to get him away from that trunk. <coughs> ah, the elephant trumpet. Fear not, Gunda. I will save you. Now, how did he do that again? Ah, elephant feet prints. I am on the right track. Ah, the case is closed. Oh, pardon me. Did you see an elephant go by here? Yes, he went up there. <laughs> you ought to see a doctor about those feet. I don't see how an elephant can do this. <laughs> Just as I thought, a trap. Inspector Willoughby, famous criminologist and master of mystery. <laughs> That's me, folks. these peanuts, and when the elephant comes to get them, I will grab him. Uh, ah! yeah. Now, who took those peanuts? Goodbye, Mr. Willoughby. Goodbye. Your royal elephant. Gunda, my beautiful baby! Talk to Papa! Well, the case is closed. And now, the Indian rope trick.
was tremendous Woody Woodpecker. You are now living down. That's all for today. Wrap it up. Hold it, please. How about a publicity shot? Say cheese. This is a gala evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, the popular movie star, Woody Woodpecker, will place his footprints in the forecourt of the Chinese theater. Just a minute, please, for a publicity shot. Oh, boy, a vacation at last. Away from the Hollywood scene. No more grease paint. No more cameras. Ah, uh, this is a life. Uh-oh, there's a scoop. Hi, remember me? I'm Scoop Smith. I recognize you. You're Woody Woodpecker, the movie actor. Now, just a few quick shots. Look pretty. I gotta take care of this guy. He could ruin my vacation. <laughs> How's that? Pretty good, eh? Hmm, only one thing wrong, Droop. Scoop. Oh, uh, yeah. You're too close. This better? Still too close. Back a little bit farther. Bloop. Scoop! How's this? No, no. You're still too close. Keep going. This far enough? That's pretty good. But just a little more. Well, okay. Now? You can take it now, Scoop! Scoop! What a kook. Well, um, uh... Yow! I'll get a picture of the woodpecker in his natural habitat. He's gonna take my picture. <laughs> Ain't that cute? <laughs> Wonder what exposure he used. Here you are, Bloop. If you want to photograph a bird, you gotta catch him first. Here you are.
Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Sweet little birdie. Mmm, boy, I just love popcorn. and then I'll feed you. Well, there's a deal. The crow dances, and the farmer feeds him. I gotta think of a plan. Hey, bub, do you like popcorn? Did you say popcorn? Uh-huh. What kind? Fresh, hot buttered popcorn. Did you say hot and buttered? Yeah, and sugar-coated, too. Did you say sugar-coated? <laughs> Where? New York. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, pal. You're a pal. Goodbye, pal. today, I'm afraid. I better go see what he's up to. <laughs> Why, that isn't Jubilee. That's a woodpecker. I shall have to throw a scare into him to teach him a lesson. Oh, man, am I gonna stuff myself? Determine. <laughs> hey, where's my food? And what am I doing on a tray? I'm no entree. Of course not. You want to be stuffed, don't you? Righto, Daddy-o. My little tummy needs stuffing bad. With meat and potatoes. Hey, I like you. Hey, what's with all the birds, Rufus? Oh, I stuff birds. That's my hobby. And this place is reserved for you. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, aren't you, uh, overlooking one little thing? You see, I happen to be a crow. Caw, caw, caw. Caw, caw. Caw, 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 caw. Caw, caw, caw. caw. I hope I'm not overacting. Boo! 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 Now, my 
my fine feathered friend. We shall go to the stuffing room. You will look fine right there, stuffed with sawdust. I don't like sawdust. Um, uh, cracker crumbs? No, no, I'm too young to... All right. Promise you won't try to play crow anymore? Oh, I promise. Scout's honor. I never want to see another crow. You may go. Oh, uh, uh um, um, uh, uh, uh... Hello, Jubilee. Uh, welcome home. Did you see the sweet little old lady? And was she eating popcorn? Mm, Sugar-coated? And what did she give you? Don't get away from this cold country. I'll pr pr freeze to death. And now, folks, some Hawaiian music from the warm tropical shores of Hulahaka Hickey Island. Warm tropical shores? That's for me. I'm gonna find a lion, the tropic sun and sand. I'll pack my grub and gear and beat it out of here. I'll find a southern So long, goodbye, get lost. I'll head south and defrost. Just a minute, little feller. You can't go. You're a penguin. Penguins have to live where it's cold. If you went south, you'd melt. Goodbye, little pal. Parting gets me here. What's the matter? Don't you want me to go? Well, I'm gonna go. I can't stay here and freeze. Goodbye, little penguin. Bye. So long, pal of mine. Bye bye. for that welcome home stuff. I'm going to a warmer climate. A going away present for me? How nice. Hope it's something I need. Thanks. I'll open it later. Goodbye, little friend. <laughs> I just knew that boy would get around to helping me. That's a spirit tool. Hawaii, here I come. Contact. It didn't work. Any other ideas? So long, old pile. 
Bessie, what's the matter with that vacuum? I don't know, Charlie. It never did that before. I can't stand machinery that don't work properly. <laughs> A shot of oil will do the trick. There you are, my dear. Good as new. If you want anything done right, just call on old Charlie. Oh, you're so smart. Well, you didn't marry any old dummy, you know. Mama. Mama. What's the matter with your dolly, Susie? I don't know, Daddy. He never did that before. Don't worry, sweetheart. We'll fix it in a jiffy. Here we are. Mama! Now what's the matter? I don't know, Pop. It never did that before. 
All it needs is oil, son. There. Try it now. That round of golf is dead black. There's a cricket in there. Get out of there. Junior, come help me. You call me, Pop? Get this thing off of me! Oh, Pop! Oh, for crying out loud. my head. You hit it. Come back here, you cricket. Sunshine State, playground of the tired rich, the retired, and the just plain tired. Gabby Gator is always tired and always 
hungry. I am truly starving. Man, I got me a big one. <gasps> Hollywood, California. Is your mouth a watering for some scrumptious southern home cooking? Does the thought of fried chicken, black eyed peas, hominy grits, and chitlins titillate your taste buds till you can't stand it no more? Then come south with your watering mouth. You was invited to be my guest. Signed, Chef Gabby Gator. This ought to bring him a running. Dinner is about to be served. Welcome to Gabby's Diner. Where's all that good old southern chow? Here's the first course. You'll start out with a jumbo-sized box lunch. Boy, oh boy, is my mouth watering. Hey, there's no lunch in here. There is now. <laughs> oh, this woodpecker's gonna taste good. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, what's cooking? You'd be surprised, sonny boy. But sir, I came down here for some southern cooking. And that's what you're getting. Hmm, this looks more like a New England boiled dinner. <laughs> What's the matter with that? Bowie, I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. Man, I gotta get me an idea fast. I got it. Hurricanes! A real southern twister! What'll I do? Oh, what'll I do? Head for the storm cellar! Hurry, boy! Run for your life! To the storm cellar! Oh, my goodness! Hold on, boy! You'll need this lightning rod. Might be a bad electrical storm. My homemade barbecue pit. Now I'm gonna have me a real Hawaiian luau. Yes, sir. A wow of a luau. Uh-oh. This little woodpecker's been taken for a pigeon. I gotta keep this cat groovy, or I'll wind up in the gravy. Bravo! Bravo! Let's have some more dinner dancing. What are you cheering about? You is the dinner. Ah, uh, you don't want to eat scrawny little old me. Yeah, you is kind of scrawny. How would you like a nice, juicy swamp steak? Swamp steak? That sounds good. What is it? Where are we going to get it? I'll show you. Where's the swamp steak? Oh, that's a surprise. Now turn around and hide your eyes. Man, I love surprises. Now that's what I call a real swamp steak. Now no fair peeking. Oh no, I wouldn't peek. Uh-oh, we need more wood. <laughs> I'll get it. There you are. Thank you. Man, it's getting warm. Keep cool, old boy. The swamp steak is almost done. Wow, this day is a sizzler. There you are, swamp steak a la king. <gasps> yum, yum. Now take 
take a big bite. You bet I will. <laughs> well, what do you know? Potted swamp steak. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Now, you is at the... I think I'm 
playing the wrong parts in this here melodrama. You is a... Uh, you is a... Uh, uh, uh. A mouse. the Arctic, wily hunters are constantly on the search for the native polar bear, considered a fine prize among the zoos of the world. We see here, bring them back alive Clive, who is now on the search for one of these huge animals. Here, we see one of these magnificent specimens, powerful, crafty, equally at home, on land or on sea. <laughs> I can't swim. Gosh, thank you. It's all right. You saved my life. Yes, I did. I am forever grateful. That's nice. From now on, you're my chum. Okay. <laughs> Little pal. It's all right. Well, let's go fishing. This is my own invention. Instant polar bear cage. <laughs> How about that? Now, I'll bait the trap. Hey, you! Get out of here! Dead, ready, dirty, brownish, and stomach grunting, spotted in. No, no! Whatever you do, don't touch that button. No! No! Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! Help! <laughs> I wish I had one of these things. You like? Yeah. Hey, you! Get away from there! Thank you. 
going to get rid of that pesky bird. Hold on there. You can't shoot my little pal. Oh, yeah? I will immobilize that bear with this hand grenade, which is loaded with laughing gas. <laughs> Tranquilizer ball. There he is, in line for a perfect shot. <laughs> I'll wring your neck, you little. Uh, uh, oh, boy, I'm, I'm getting very drowsy. Oh. my old college football momentum. Did you play, Pop? Did I play? Look at this. That, my boy, is the champions of 1904. Gee, where were you, Pop? That's him on the end, Junior. He was the water boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Come on, Junior. I'll show you a few things about football. Water boy, indeed. What you standing on your head for, Pop? Shut up! If you're going to play football, Charlie, you've got to go outside! Water boy, let me tell you! Come on, Pop. I thought we were going to play football. 24, 7, 32, 1861, 19,423, 6, 1. Hold it. Hold it. What's with all the numbers? Just say, hike. OK, Pop. Hike. Very funny. Very funny. Hey, Junior, you get into these and be a tackling dummy. You get in, Pop. You make a bigger dummy than me. Yeah. All right, come on, tackle me. Is that 
you, Pop? <laughs> lifeline of our nation's communication system. The intricate network of this vital industry is maintained by the tireless sentinel, the troubleshooter. Tasten. One, two, three. This dedicated watchman of the wires daily braves the furies of the element. Lightning, rain, fog, and wind. Well, being a troubleshooter in this vital industry, I now have trouble to shoot. Testing. One, two, three. Oh, 
real mad at my poop. I need a rest. Ugh. Well, what a cayuse bungalow. Complete with telephone. Tum tum ta da dee dee doo dum. Hello, hello, room service? Um, uh, yeah? One ham sandwich on mine. Hold the mustard. One ham sandwich, hold the mustard. Okay. Tum 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 ta da dee dum tum. Come in. Oh, thank you, boy. Here's a nickel. Mm-mm. In all my years in this vital industry, I've never. Huh? Room service? One, two, three, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three, testing. Say, who writes your stuff anyway? Um, uh, well, I mean, I, I only got up to my threesies. Well, take five. In all my years in this vital industry, this is the first time this has ever happened. Now, see here. That does it. No trespassers allowed in this vital industry. Howdy, little bird. Hello. Um, uh, this here is room service. And if you're getting a bit hungry, I'll bring you over a cracker. Oh, no. Not the old firecracker bit. Well, there goes that gag out of the window. That's enough. I'm getting out of this noisy neighborhood. Testing. One, two, three. I'll give him the old one, two, three. <laughs> In all my years in this vital industry, this is the second time this has ever happened. Well, what's this? Man, what a cool pad. I mean, real cozy. I better use my safety belt for this important job. This is the third time this has ever happened. It's that woodpecker again. Hey, you. This is vital industry property. You'll have to blow. Anything you say. In all my years, it is vital vital in. <laughs> rests with confidence, knowing full well the troubleshooter keeps his vital industry going at any cost. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed our show. Join us again on our next program for a half hour of fun with your old pal, Woody Woodpecker. See you on our next show. Bye now.